all right so i was trying to create a project using the quick date null script php null script that is and i had a very big issue that the gd extension was disabled now i tried researching online and so on i could not get a good hold of how to enable it and i'm using xamp for my local host and i believe that will also work for zump also So when I go to um, my local host and try to launch the project, I'm in the installation area. And also you need that GD is for image cropping. You also need it for um, OpenCAT. You also need it for OpenCAT. And if you don't have it, you need to enable it and so on. And if you are online using a, a PID hosting, you need to go to your control panel or your C, C panel and so on and go to PHP extensions and enable it. But this one is basically for XAMP because that's where I have the real big issue because I want to create my projects offline and test it offline. So I'm using the quick date um, template or null script and I'm going through the installation process. Let me just restart this. Alright, so I'm going to create a project using the quick date null script. As you can see below there, it's in my recents. And I'm using it on my local host, XM that is. And this will also work for Zump, probably just different file names or something. So, and if you have a paid hosting online using um, Namecheap, GoDaddy, or so on, you need to go to your cPanel and you also need to open up your PHP extensions and enable it. So the GD extension is used for cropping images and so on. And you'll need it for image um, manipulation. And first of all, I'll go to my local host and I'm gonna to go to my project and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I searched online, I could not get it anyway. So I just going to agree to these terms, which I did not read. And here you can see the GD library it's basically used for cropping in that case for quick date it's not installed and not be able to click the next because it's disabled so what i will do first ensure that my version of php allows me to um use gd second of my local host i'm going to go to php information or info and i'm going to search for gd so you can see that gd is actually an extension i'm using the most recent example which is um, the one that compiles php 8.0 which is the latest php in that case so i have gd imaging which is present as an extension and why am i getting it here so what i did i could not use notepad to search so when i go to config and php.ini if I search for GD, I'll not get it because it's not does not have any spaces between it. So what you either need to do is, if you don't know the exact long extension, um, if you have a different Windows server, or I'll say virtual server, like example one point one, you need to add your semicolon because it's basically going to be commented. So you're going to have your semicolon. You're going to have extension equals gd and press in um semicolon okay so that's the issue there i will not be able to get gd at all so what i instead did since i can remember the name i will go to my control panel for example and i'm going to click on browse for php and there I'm going to look for my PHP config file. So it's going to be PHP. Here it is. And I'm going to open it with a software called Notepad++. Now, it's a very good software, especially for programming and coding. 
I've been using it for when I'm creating projects from scratch for a very long time. Then I admire how we can switch through folders and you can also switch through files no matter what case that the letters or wood is in and so on. So here I'm looking for GD. So I'm going to sit Ariel F, Control F, GD. Here I can see that the GD um, extension is disabled. Here I can see that the GD extension is disabled. And I'm going to and I'm going to remove the semicolon that commented out. Now I'm going to save it. I'm going to close um, this now. I'm going to close this also. I'm going to stop XAMP and my SQL. And I'm just going to resend this. The reason why I'm going to resend this is because I wanted to at least um, not be able to connect to the local host. Okay, if you just restart it, you might just get the same issue usually all the time. So now I'm going to restart XAMP. And here it is. Simple as that. Now I can press next and install. Now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is how you enable GD extension or any other extension that you require for your null scripts or your PHP projects. And um, you are now able to use null scripts like QuickDate or OpenCart and so on. But don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.